Welcome back to Transcriber from Reddit. Today's topic is a little bit off topic for me at least. Today I want to talk about an Instagram post that Josh Harris made back in 2019. If you don't remember the name or immediately recognize the name Josh Harris, he is known as Joshua Harris, the author of I Kiss Dating Goodbye and other purity culture books. Well, why am I adro- addressing this now versus back in, say, 2019 when he released this post? That's because I believe, given that we have three years of insights, we should be able to have a more honest conversation with ourselves and with other people who consider themselves Christians about the topic of exvangelicals. I was listening to a podcast by Christianity Today on the rise and fall of Mars Hill specifically listening to episode number eight, which is labeled as bonus episode, I Kissed Christianity Goodbye. Here, the podcast host didn't seem inclined to give Joshua Harris the benefit of the doubt. Not when it came in regards to him being part of a documentary about I Survived, I Kissed Dating Goodbye, Not in regards to him releasing a ill-timed, to say the very least, course regarding deconstructing. And then his Instagram post that is referenced in the podcast. Depending on the interest and on the time that I have, I may do a reaction to the podcast which wouldn't be a live reaction since I already listened to it once through. Well, okay, twice through. I had to think about that for a moment. But the highlights of the podcast are at the at 20 when in the podcast when there's 22 minutes and 40 seconds left. Josh is being indirect and you can't blame him because the issues weren't adequately addressed in 21 and still adequately aren't addressed in 22 especially when you talk about church abuses of power and church lack of discipline or discipline for thee but not for me then when there's 14 minutes and 28 seconds left on the podcast, the host is talking and making a list of false gods being followed today. And deconstruction incidentally lands at the end of the list. The host is seriously judging or giving the appearance of judging Josh for not deconstructing the way that the host wants him to. And then, when there's 11 minutes and 20 seconds left in the podcast, there's a false dichotomy presented of seeking the truth and tearing down institutions. The host seems to think and make statements that makes you as a listener think that there's only two options. Either you will seek the truth, which implicitly means that institutions are kept up and running, versus tearing down. Like, if you start tearing down one thing, therefore you want to tear everything else down, and there is no, there's nothing in between either of those, or are there more than these two options? That is incredibly disingenuous, in my opinion especially regarding a still relevant topic called deconstruction. 
deconstruction is incredibly still relevant and should be handled with care on people who run explicitly Christian podcasts or blogs or evangelical Christian or other types of Christian can, I believe, run into issues like the podcast host did. So I want to read Josh Harris's Instagram post from 2019 to you and then note what I think they should have addressed or did differently. So Josh Harris's Instagram post shows him Josh, I believe mid-40s, mid to upper 40s, male, tanned, looking out over a sky blue waters lake surrounded by pines with a mountain in the background. He's looking out over the lake in this photo. The text below reads as follows. My heart is full of gratitude. I wish you could see all the messages people sent me after the announcement of my divorce. They are expressions of love, though they are saddened or even strongly disapprove of the decision. I am learning that no group has the market cornered on grace. This week, I've received grace from Christians, atheists, evangelicals, exvangelicals, straight people, LGBTQ people, and everyone in between. Of course, there have also been strong words of rebuke from religious people. While not always pleasant, I know they are seeking to love me. Parentheses, there have also been spiteful, hateful comments that angered and hurt me. And parentheses. The information that was left out of our announcement is that I have undergone a massive shift in regard to my faith in Jesus. The popular phrase for this is deconstruction, that word is in quotes. The biblical phrase is falling away. That phrase is in quotes. By all the measurements that I have for defining a Christian, I am not a Christian. Many people tell me that there is a different way to practice faith, and I want to remain open to this, but I'm not there now. Martin Luther said that the entire life of believers should be repentance. There's beauty in that sentiment regardless of your view of God. I have lived in repentance for the past several years, repenting of my self-righteousness, my fear-based approach to life, the teaching of my books, my views of women in the church, and my approach to parenting to name a few. But I specifically want to add to this list now. To the LGBTQ plus community, I want to say that I am sorry for the views that I taught in my books and as a pastor regarding sexuality. I regret standing against marriage equality for not affirming you and your place in the church and for any ways that my writing and speaking contributed to a culture of exclusion and bigotry. I hope you can forgive me. To my Christian friends, I am grateful for your prayers. Don't take it personally if I don't immediately return calls. I can't join in your mourning. I don't view this moment negatively. I feel very much alive and awake and surprisingly hopeful. I believe with my sister Julian that, quote, all will be well, or excuse me, all shall be well, and all manner of thing shall be well, end quote. In the podcast, the host mentioned that Christian evangelical icon Billy Graham went through his own period of deconstruction and coming out the other side, stronger in his faith. He also mentions Charles Templeton, a friend of Billy Graham's, who also went through a deconstruction and did not come out through the other side. Despite the podcast host's very biased view of these two individuals and their process of going through deconstruction, the podcast host does seem to admit, although he also appears to backtrack in his segment, on 
the overall view of deconstruction. Either deconstruction can lead to positive outcomes or it's just overall negative and bad. So which is it? I say this because he makes, Josh Harris makes a very good point. He is not there now. Regardless of whether or not he becomes Christian or our preconceived notion of what a Christian should look like, we need to be open and honest and willing to hear him out. Since that post, he has made multiple Instagram posts showing that he's having conversations with different people who each identify as religious or Christian or other in their own way, and he's having conversations with them and he's being public about it, which is awesome. I will link his Instagram page down below in the show notes. The other thing that I want to point out is that he talks about the popular phrase being deconstruction and the biblical phrase is falling away. Josh Harris already came to the deconstruction process with this negative connotation, falling away. Deconstruction is not the same as falling away. Deconstruction is the process of making your faith your own. And if you find that you do not have faith, you step away. That is not negative. If you believe in anything, your belief has to be your own. It cannot be your parents. Other people cannot believe on your behalf, as nice as that would be. Your beliefs have to be your own. And I would rather you deconstruct, and if you fall away, at least you're being honest. I applaud you for being honest. That is not negative. You are starting your journey to figure out what you truly believe and why you truly believe it. And that is a beautiful thing in of itself. And that is something that not enough Christian writers or hosts or just media slash content generators are seeing or observing or even allowing in their spaces. Josh Harris also says in this post that was not directly covered by the host of the Christianity Today podcast episode. He says... By all the measurements that I have for defining a Christian, I am not a Christian. The podcast host could have asked him, what are the measurements that you have for defining a Christian, let alone defining yourself as a Christian? Is it purely evangelical? Are these measurements what we would consider to be traditional today? Would they have been considered traditional, you know, 2,000 years ago when Christ came and walked the earth? It would be interesting if the podcast host had asked Josh Harris to expand on what he means by measurements and where are these measurements coming from, because that's as important as asking him why he no longer considers himself Christian. And it's really sad to see this lack of open-mindedness in Christianity Today, in their podcasts, and in the hosts who host these podcasts. Finally, to Josh Harris and other people who are deconstructing their faith. Whether or not you listen to this, Whether or not you share this with other people, I believe in you. I hold out 
hope for all of you. I have deconstructed and I am confident in where I stand now. And I hope and pray that regardless of where each of you end up, that you will feel the same. I love you guys and you are loved and you deserve to have more people, especially on the evangelical Christian side of things, be kind and compassionate to you. And I'm sorry that they're not. That concludes today's video. Please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.